hello creatives you're welcome back to my youtube channel again this is david gladness and on this particular video i'm going to be showing you on how you can design this mock-up okay how you can create this mock-up so without further ado let's proceed with the video tutorial so in the previous tutorial i have been able to show you how you can actually design um the logo process i have shown you the logo process making use of canva app and i've also dropped a video for that of pixela because for you to be able to design something like this which is a mock-up you must have designed the logo you must have designed the logo meanwhile canva and pixel app is what i use in designing the logo in this case as you can see so if you are yet to go through those video do well to watch this particular video to the end and automatically the two videos are going to pop up as a suggestion list after this particular video so basically what i'm going to be showing you is the mock-up process how this particular logo these logos you are seeing right here you know they are just normal right so how they were being converted into this form how, how you can convert them into this form so what is actually this what is it called it is called a logo mock-up right this is a mock-up design so we are going to be using photo p photo p is not the only way but then photo p still remains the best way of mocking up a logo making use of your device okay so i will just go to my chrome browser okay i'll go to my chrome browser then i'll just visit photo p.com photo p.com okay just type in photo okay sorry photo then p e a you can see that photo then p e a photo p dot com all right then allow it to load now before we start i would like to explain some things um there is something we call the psd file right and psd file simply stands for photoshop design files so if you have gone through the video where i explained about the pixel plp this is exactly how um psd files work so the photo piece software looks just like photoshop on laptop where you can be able to edit plp file so if you are yet to go through the video on how um you can edit the pixel plp file or you want to know more about plp file click on the video popping up right now on the top right corner to take you to the video and then you will be able to watch the video and understand better what i am explaining so i do not want to spend too much time explaining what the psd file is in this case so i already have a psd file downloaded however if you want me to drop a tutorial on how you can download psd file do well to drop in the comment section after watching this video but then the psd file i am going to be using for the sake of this particular logo i have already downloaded it and it will also be provided for you in this particular video description box so do well to check the video description box so let's proceed with the video tutorial now when you open your p um photo p.com the first thing you're gonna do is to click on this place you are seeing file at the top left corner okay so when you click on file click on open this place you are seeing open please follow me carefully so that you will not be going off track so i'll just click on open now it's going to take you to your click on this place then allow it to take you to your uh, media file now i have already moved the mock-up file look at it right here so it will be provided for you in the video description box so just check this video description box you are going to get this particular mock-up for free so i'll just tap on it now what we are trying to do just like i have said if you have watched the video about the, the video i dropped recently about the pixel app plp file that is exactly how psd file work but then this time around is not pixel app project this one is photoshop design files right so we are going to be editing we are going to be editing um the mock-up that has already been created making use of photo p it's just like a project that has been worked on if you have watched the video so we are going to be editing this particular one to our own tastes right so let's just wait for this to load now as you can see this is the original file this is the original the initial file now we want to edit it and turn it to our own taste now just click on this layer. this is called the layer icon so click on layer then when you click on layer you can see this place you are seeing place your logo here please note that all designs um the, the psd file are not always the same this one is straightforward some are not straightforward so it can be a little bit different so i'll just double tap this place you are seeing um place your logo here you can see that i'll just double tap it please double tap don't tap once double tap then i'll click on this eyes icon if i do not click on the eyes icon and i click on this layer icon you can see that this is what you want to edit this thing right here now if i actually click on the layer icon and i click on this eyes icon it's going to hide the original design now i will now click on file okay click on this place you are seeing file file right here 
Now when you click on file, click on open and please. Click on open and please. Now when you click on open and please, it should take you to your gallery again. It should take you to your gallery again. This time around, you are going to be selecting the logo you have saved in a transparent background. Remember, I told you I have already dropped a video on how I was able to design this, making use of Pixel Lab and also how you can make use of the Canva app. So if you are yet to check out the video, you can check it out from the previous videos I have uploaded before or just to watch this particular video to the end. The videos are automatically going to pop up and you'll be able to gain access to that particular video. So I'm trying to increase the size. You can make use of these dots to increase the size, the one on the edges, right? You can use it to increase the size and adjust your design. So I want to position it at the middle. Now, when you are done positioning your elements where you want to position it, just click on file again. Click on the file on the top left corner, then click on save smart object. Now, when you tap on this save smart object, it might seem like you did not tap on it. Just wait for it to load. Just wait for it to load. So how fast this is, it's all depending on your phone RAM, okay? It's all depending on how um, your phone RAM is actually strong. So let's just wait for this to load. And as you can see, smart objects updated. Now the next thing we're going to do now, we are done editing what you want to edit. Just tap on this place you are seeing, this mock, this place you are seeing my cursor right here. The original mockup file, tap on it. Now when you tap on this as well, it might seem as if you have not tapped on it. And as I've said, it all depends on your phone um, gig RAM, right? your phone gig ram so let's just wait for this to load up okay all right creative so as you can see it is now done loading and as you can see this is the final result you can see that this is really really beautiful now to save up your design we are done editing just to save it up now just click on this file again then when you click on file you can see this place you are seeing exports exports as this place you are seeing exports as just click on it now when you click on export as it's going to take you to the place where you can select the format maybe you want to save it as jpg you want to save it as png you want to save it as any you can see we have more so i'll just select um the jpeg since i don't want it to be transparent i'll just click on jpeg you can also save yours as png if you feel like using png but then i'll just select jpg which is the, J the jpeg file so um all right now as you can see the result is ready now you can actually increase the size of your quality you can see this place your same quality you can always increase the volume and when you are done with that all you need to do now is just to click on the save i um this save your scene right here just click on save and it might actually show you an advertisement right it might show advertisement and it might not but then let's just wait for this let's see so i've already clicked on save already and it should start downloading any moment from now it should start downloading any moment from now all right so as you can see it's asking me to click on download again since i have downloaded it before so let's just wait for this and let's see the final results let's see the final results so let me check okay you can see this is it's now down downloading and let's see let's see what we've got let's see what we've got all right so as you can see i have been able to create a very simple um mock-up making use of just my smartphone so thank you for sticking around to the end of this video tutorial do not forget if you need the tutorial on how you can design this logo just check the last two videos i uploaded before this i have a canva tutorial and i also have the pixel lab tutorial however if you need the tutorial on how you can download psd file do want to drop a comment and don't forget to subscribe if you are yet to subscribe thank you for sticking around to the end of the video see you on the next one